What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be playing through the brand new 30 stamina Fortnite Catch the Big Person which is the Tontata Fortnite. Now let's go ahead and get straight into this breakdown of this dungeon okay so the boss character obviously is going to be Leo the characters that you can actually drop are the uh, South Birds from Jaya and you can actually drop them on this island you can drop the Leo of course the rare drop is, uh, I forgot her name, Wicca. Wicca is her name, and she's actually really good. And there's also Gancha, which is the old guy. At the end of the run, we're going to go through and break down each of these characters for you guys. Now let's talk about the manuals, the skill books you can get. Obviously, Fujitora going to be one of the most sought-after skill books in this Fortnite. Absolutely amazing, amazing special. Literally one of the best specials in the game. So if you have Fujitora and have not used Universal skill books on him yet, highly recommend to try and pick up his skill books here. Also, Gear 2 Luffy, which is 5 star plus Luffy as well. You can get his books here. CP9 Fukuro, CP9 Kumidori, or Lumbus and Elizabello. Elizabello in particular, an amazing special. If you have him, you must max him. Makes using him a lot more easier. You've also got Chaka, Story Mode, Kumidori, and also the Red Boa Sister. Um, and you can get some green uh, boosters and evolvers here as well. So, let's get straight into the dungeon. Now, the uh, condition is that Slasher-type characters get their special sealed for 99 turns, and they get a an attack debuff. So, the team that we are going to be using is a and then a Kainu team, basically. Uh, and a Kainu team with a friend... Or Monster Chopper with a friend, a Kainu, that is. If I had a Kainu, then double a Kainu would be the most optimal. And the subunits really doesn't matter. Just bring your highest attacking red units. I would recommend Kid as well. Kid does kind of help for one of the stages. But he isn't needed, but he just helps a little bit. But uh, it is what it is. Now, our, our entire goal is to get to the final stage with at least two red orbs with this specific team. And we'll be able to take down the final room. So that's why we have Kid. However, with the final room... Uh, Leo can actually seal your character specials. So uh, if he seals Kid, that is kind of annoying. But with a kind of captain ability, he does increase the chances of you landing on a red orb, which will help significantly in trying to get some red orbs to try and kill him as well. Uh, you can potentially bring in an orb booster as well if you guys want to. Uh, an orb booster would mean that you probably only need one orb in order to actually take down um, to take down Leo. But the thing is, if he seals your uh, orb booster uh, special for two turns, then you're basically not going to be able to kill him as quick as you normally would be. Now, uh, with Leo himself, he's got kind of like a special thing where if he is above 90% health, he doesn't actually attack you. He won't deal any damage to you whatsoever if his health is 90% or above. So if you guys are waiting for your specials to get unsealed, or if you are waiting for a specific thing to happen, then you can wait. You do have some time before you can actually uh, start taking damage from him, which is good. Uh, here is actually one of the mini stages here with Gancho, which is the old guy. Uh, and we don't get the drop, but we get the skill book drop. And stage six is going to be Wicker, the hidden boss, which is awesome. So this is the hidden boss. Uh, Wicker is probably one of the coolest Fortnite units. Uh, we'll go through all of the abilities of these units uh, after this, guys. But that's awesome to get that unit drop right there. Unfortunately, we don't actually have any radars. We've got one. Uh, so please don't steal, kid. You're going to steal, kid? You are going to steal, kid, of course. Okay, so this is where we are going to wait until we can potentially get a couple more red orbs on our crew, and then we'll try and take down uh, Leo here. If you had double Akainu, then getting red orbs wouldn't be a problem, and you get a higher attack multiplier as well. We've got a lot of red orbs here, so we should be able to take down Leo here in a single turn which is fine. Uh, but Double Akainu is would, would be the most recommended, in my personal opinion. Uh, 800 damage, 800,000 damage. He has like 820,000, so if you guys were wondering how much health he had, it's about 820,000. If you get him below 20%, he does like 7,000 damage to you, so you do have to be a little bit careful about that. But overall, with a Monster Chopper and a Friend Akainu, you shouldn't have too many issues with this Fortnite whatsoever. Let's see what our skill books drops are going to be. We've got lots of Boa Sister, and we get a Fujitora book! That's pretty sick. That's a good run right there. Uh, let's go ahead and start breaking down all these characters characters right now for you guys. So the first one that we are going to break down, if I would actually get off the strength filter, is Leo. So Leo, let's go ahead and talk about Leo real quick. Okay, so his captain ability will boost the attack of characters with cost 20 or less by 2.5 times. Now that is when he is evolved. This is the three star version. He does evolve into a four star version. The special stays the same though. His special has multiple stages 
and his stage 2 special will deal 15 times his attack in dex damage to a single enemy, changes his own orb and the friend's orb into matching orbs, which is actually freaking awesome. Uh, his stage 1 special only changes his own orb into dex, which will eventually max at 4 turns, and his stage 2 maxes at 12 turns, so he does need 7 skill ups, but that's actually a, a really good special, honestly. It's a really, really decent special for a Fortnite character. Okay, next on the agenda, we'll talk about Gancho. We'll leave the, the best for last. So Gancho, he will go ahead and boost the attack of strikers by 1.5 times. Uh, his attack, attack of strikers by 1.5 times and recovers two times his recovery in HP at the end of every turn. So he's kind of like a miniature healing zombie captain, I guess. Not a great captain ability. His special ability switches orbs between slots twice, makes badly and block orbs, badly matching and block orbs. Uh, not reduce damage for two turns. So that's actually not a bad uh, special. Uh, it, it does max at 12 turns though, which is you know a little bit annoying, but it's it's honestly not a bad special. It's kind of a niche effect. You're not going to be using a special like that that often, but if you do need an effect like that, then uh, that's pretty cool. But the unit that, what, what I'm pretty excited about is Wicker. Now, Wicker is awesome because uh, Wicker has uh, the ability to deal 300 fixed damage to all enemies and then boost the color affinity of fighters and for spirit by 1.25 so uh, it's an affinity booster for free spirit and fighters which is awesome and the uh, the actual captain ability uh, reduces cooldown of fighter and free spirit specials by one turn at the start of the fight and gives you a chance to double drop something at the end of an island so she's kind of like Barkra if you guys haven't got Barkra yet for some unknown reason if you don't have Barkra this is your next best thing and the great thing about Wicket is, is she's a free spirit unit so you know there's really powerful free spirit teams ha now have access to yet a another fixed damage dealer and also access to color infinity now as well which is awesome giving them a little bit more extra damage when taking down a boss not like they really needed it anyway but uh, all in all, she's actually a really solid unit. She doesn't have that high stats, only maxes at level 70 with 1,000 health, 888 attack, and 200 recovery. So overall, her stats aren't that good, but her abilities that she does provide are really, really nice. And at stage 3, because it is multiple stages, uh, at stage 3, though, she maxes at 10 turns. Now, I'm just seeing these now. Stage 1 and 2 look like they have different abilities. Stage 1 deals 6 fixed damage to all enemies, randomizes up... Uh, randomizes orbs of upper row characters. That's interesting. Stage 2 will deal 15 fixed hits to all enemies and then recover 3 times her recovery in HP. And then it's her stage 3 special that provides color affinity. So that's really interesting. So if you need a specific special activated, you can wait for a specific stage. So that's actually really nice. Uh, stage 1 maxes at 3 turns, then 5 turns, then 10 turns. So she only needs 6 skill ups, uh, which is really, really nice. And from what I've seen, she actually drops reasonably often as well so all in all that is going to conclude this video guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys did make sure to smack the like button down below and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post on my channel including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i will see you guys within the next video